Hi, welcome back to The Shed for what is incredibly the 50th episode of this build series. Now I know I said at the beginning that it was going to be quite a long series and I was going to go into a lot of detail, but even I didn't expect it to take 50 episodes. We've still got a little way to go yet. However, we are getting near to the end. I would estimate the body is probably about a week away from polishing. So we're going to carry on with a few last finishing off jobs and this time we're going to be doing the frets. But before I start on the frets, there's a, a little job I want to do on the rest of the guitar, just in preparation for the polishing process in a few weeks time. And that is to basically take some 800 wet and dry paper. And I'm just gonna give this a quick going over onto all the surfaces that we're gonna polish eventually. And all I'm aiming to do here is just kind of open up this surface in the hope that that will help any solvent that are still trapped in this finish kind of get out of there quicker, which will speed up the curing process. That's the theory, how much effect it has, don't really know, but it's something I always do, so here goes. And at this stage, I'm not trying to flatten it or anything. Get rid of the orange peel, etc. It's literally just a case of breaking that surface. Okay, with that all done, next up is to get some fine wet and dry paper. So I've got some 800 grit here and I'm just gonna go back over some of the areas of the fretboard that have just kind of sustained a little bit of damage whilst we've been doing other jobs. So I'm just going to kind of fettle that out with the 800, give it a bit of a clean. And then I've got a 3000 grit Trizac pad. And I'm just going to burnish everything up with that. I'm not sure this will have much effect on the wood, but it will impart a really nice level of gloss onto the mother of pearl inlays. Now eventually, of course, we'll need to get some oil onto this board, but I don't want to do it just yet because it will stop the masking tape, which we'll be using for the next stage sticking to it. So we'll have to leave that. But I'm just gonna go up the rest of the board now and give it a final clean up. Okay, so that's all looking lovely again, nice and shiny. So the next thing we need to do is start to get ready to dress the frets. But before we can start that, we need to make sure that the neck is in an absolutely straight as we can get it condition. So to that end, I will get my notch straight edge out. And I'm just gonna take a very fine feeler gauge. And as you can see, that readily passes underneath in the middle. So we need to put a little bit of truss rod on.
and that is pretty straight now and all that means is that hopefully we'll have to take the absolute minimum of material off the top of these frets to get everything leveled out so with that done next thing we need to do is protect the fretboard that we've just beautifully touched up so out with the masking tape again and get everything covered up So now that the fretboard's all covered up, nicely protected, it's going to take a nice big fat black magic marker. And I'm just going to cover the frets up. I'm going to, I'm trying to keep this away from the nibs as much as possible. I fully expect to do some work on those but if I can avoid it I will Okay, so with those blacked off, I'm now going to take my sanding beam. And I've got some 180 on one side. This has been used, so it's a little bit kind of worn down. And I've got some 320 on the other side. And all I'm going to do is very gently take passes. along the length of the neck until there's no frets with any black left along the middle section of them. I'm not really pressing on. I'm just letting the beam find its own level. With that level established with the 180, I'm then going to go back over with the 320. Just take out the worst of the scratches. And that's the leveling done. It doesn't take much. If everything you've done up to this point has been done fairly well, it doesn't actually take long to do the leveling you're only taking a tiny amount of material off. But we're not quite done with the beam yet. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put two layers of masking tape on the 12th fret directly onto the top of it. I'm going to re-black those frets. And I'm going to cover one end of the abrasive with masking tape. And I'm just going to use that to take a little bit more material off 
these last few frets. <laughs> And what that does is it establishes a little bit of fall away at the top end of the neck and that just gives you a little bit more room under the strings because this area around here is kind of the center of the string and this is where they're vibrating the most so you just need that little extra bit of clearance now it's leveled we just need to take our trusty fret rocker we just need to go up and check all the positions on the neck for any rock. And that is spot on. So now we can turn our attention to the crowning and I'll bring you a little bit closer and I'll show you what I mean by that. Now you might see in this close-in shot that some of these frets, these two for instance, have got quite a thin line cut into the black. Whereas the one next to it has got quite a lot more material taken out of it. The same with this one here. And what we need to do is to get all of these frets, so they've only got a very thin line of crown in the very centre of the fret and for that we'll just use a, a three cornered crowning file. But so that we can see what we're doing we'll once again we'll mark all of the frets with some black marker and all you do is working evenly on both sides that profile back in until there's just a very thin line of pen right down the middle of the fret. Okay, so that's all the crowning sorted out, um, all looking quite nice, but there are still quite a few little scratches and stuff in there. So I'm just going to start off with some 400 wet and dry, and it's on an 18mm MDF block, so I know that that will be nice and flat. And I'm just going to... Just going to go over the tops and just take... any big scratches out of there. Now we're not going to be removing a lot of material doing this. So we're not going to kind of need to recrown or anything. And then I'm going to go up to a bit 600 again on the block. And again just take any big scratches out and then I'm going to go up to 800 but I'm not going on the block now instead I'm just going to go up and down with that and start the polishing process and with that done we'll then move on to 100 wet and dry and again I'm just flicking that up and down the neck and refining that scratch pattern and you can generally tell how you're doing because if you run a fingernail along them you'll feel if it's smooth enough or not
Now normally I'd get the autosol out at this stage and my Dremel with a little cotton mop on and start polishing these out. However, I'm not going to get far with that, am I? Um, it's empty and completely dried up. So instead, I'm just going to use this little block of polishing compound. And all it is, is... Just load the mop up with a bit of compound. And very quickly, you'll bring the fret up to an absolutely beautiful shine. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on, you just let the Dremel do the work for you. Okay, so they're all looking absolutely lovely now, nice and shiny. So all that remains for me to do is get this masking off. And you might have noticed that I put two bits right the way down the full length of the neck when I started. And the idea of that is that you can use those two big bits to pull all the little bits off. Just makes it a little bit quicker and easier to do. And that's all looking good. Um, again, I'm just gonna give it a quick clean up. And that's looking absolutely spot on now. There's a little bit of black on these nibs from the polishing process. So I'm just gonna have to clean those up a little bit. But apart from that, it's looking absolutely spot on. I think that's a couple of really good jobs done there. Um, very happy with the way the frets have come out. And hopefully that scuff sanding will speed the process up and we can get the body polished off before very much longer. I'm going to be back very, very soon with the next episode. So as always, like if you've liked, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.